Yesterday we touched on the truly shocking story of Paralympian Tani Gray Thompson being forced to call off a late night train because there was no one there to help her. Well, it's thrown light on the discrimination disabled passengers are facing from the transport system and uh, Tani is uh, backing a campaign for change. She joins us uh, now. Morning to you. Good to see you, as, as always. Um, give us a bit more detail about, about what happened and whether it was an uncommon situation. Well, with me, uh, I was coming into a mainline train station, and yes, it was late at night, but there were no staff there to get me off, and uh, all the passengers left the train, and uh, the station was deserted, so I had to get onto the floor of the carriage, push my chair off, and then make the transfer into my chair, and that's fine for me because I can do it, but an awful lot of disabled people are saying that they find using public transport really difficult, actually quite scary, because you don't know what you can and you can't use. What, what would have happened if you weren't able to do all that yourself? Well, I would have just been sat on the train until somebody came and unlocked the doors. And, and actually, that's not great. I mean, that there is a system for booking assistance, which works some of the time, not all the time. But it's not just about trains, it's about buses, it's about taxis, it's about just making the, the public transport system in the UK better. I mean, London's pretty good, but outside London, it's a real challenge for disabled people. Because this was a proper... I mean, I know you don't want to mention the specific station name, but... This was a big station. We're not talking about a tiny village in the middle of nowhere that might well be unmanned. This is a big station. That must have been particularly surprising. Yeah, and, and I think I'm in a fortunate position that I can actually either fight the system or do something about it. But there's an awful lot of disabled mm. people who feel very uncomfortable. Actually, what I want is more disabled people to be able to use public transport and get around. So we want to know sort of good stories and, and bad stories to find out what the true picture is. So we're encouraging people to sign up to the campaign. It's A to B for all. It's on Twitter. It's on Facebook to find out the picture because actually um, companies are legally obliged to, to make it better for disabled people. We don't want special treatment. I want disabled people to have the same access to public transport as non-disabled people. What about the goodwill of the great British public, aside from those people working on these, uh, these transport lines? Um, what are your experiences with, with that and how helpful they are, how understanding they are? I mean, actually, the public are generally really very good. So I do get you know, help for assistance, but I need to wait for a ramp to get off the train. It's actually not fair for me to ask a member of the public to try and lift me or, or my chair off. So the public... And actually, most of the staff, the vast majority of the staff, are great. Right. But what would be great, just to have a minimum level of training for staff um, and also somewhere for people to go and complain. Actually, an independent regulator would be ideal, because at the moment, disabled people have nowhere to go if they experience problems. And actually, it's about finding the real picture mm. so we can make it better. It, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Mm. It's just about improving training, really. And it's just humiliating, crawling, throwing a wheelchair off a train and crawling off, apart from the physical fear of it. I mean, it's nerve-wracking, I would have thought, coming off, you know, with that big gap between the platform. It's frightening. It's, it's not very pleasant sitting on the floor outside the toilet, because that's no. usually where the door is, where loads of people have been sort of that's... tramping back and forth either. Yeah, not good. Not you good you will be raising this at some point, hopefully, in the, in the House. Good luck with that. And Thank good you. Good luck with the campaign. Thank Always you. love to see you, and we'll see you again uh, plenty more, hopefully, Thank as we uh, <laughs> head uh, quickly now into that Paralympics. Blimey, it's going to be here before you know it. Cheers, Tani. Charging upon us, isn't yeah. it?